300 tasks, 21 team members, and one deadline. Which five tasks will absolutely sink your project if they're delayed? Not knowing the answer is why most projects fail. I'm Chris from Your Project Pro, and today I'm revealing the secret weapon that's been saving project managers since the 1950s. A method so powerful that it cut 18 months off the construction time of the World Trade Center. Stick around to find out. Hey, welcome back. For our newcomers, we are all about making project management click. Last week, we explored project scheduling techniques, and today, we're zooming in on the critical path method. This is the technique that separates the tasks that you can delay from the ones that will derail your project. So what is the critical path method, or CPM? This identifies the sequence of dependent tasks that determines your project's minimum duration. In simpler terms, it's the longest chain of must-do tasks from start to finish. Why does this matter? Well, because understanding your critical path gives you clear priorities. You know exactly which tasks need your closest attention. It gives you an early warning where you can spot potential delays before they cascade into disasters. It also gives you flexibility where you discover where you have float time or buffer for non-critical tasks. Think of your project as a road trip across the country. There are multiple routes you could take, but only one is the longest and determines when you will arrive. That's your critical path. If you make a delay or a stop anywhere along that route, you'll arrive at your destination late. So how do you find your critical path? Well, identifying it involves four key steps. Step one is to map all tasks and dependencies. Just do this simply by listing every task in your project and identify which tasks need to finish before others can start. The good news is you've already started to do this in your work breakdown structure. Step two is to estimate task durations, where we assign realistic time estimates to each task. Step three, calculate forward and backward paths. Working forward, what is the earliest a task can start? Working backward, what is the latest each task can finish without delaying the project? And step four is to identify your zero float tasks. And these are tasks with no flexibility in timing and because these will help inform your critical path. So let's see this in action with a simple example. Imagine organizing a product launch event. Some tasks like venue booking, speaker preparation, and rehearsal form a connected chain with no scheduling flexibility. That's your critical path. If you delay any of these, and your entire launch gets pushed back. Here's how to leverage the critical path method in your daily project management. First, you focus your best resources on those critical path tasks. You build buffers into those activities. You monitor critical path tasks daily because these are your early warning system. And you remember that your critical path can change as the project progresses. So most project management software can calculate the project path automatically, such as Microsoft Project and Smartsheet. And there's even some free tools out there that have this capability. Here's a pro tip. Don't just identify your critical path once and forget about it. You wanna recalculate it regularly as your project evolves because last week's buffer might be today's emergency. And there you have it, the power of the critical path method. When you master this technique, you'll never again waste time on tasks that don't drive your deadline. Next week, we'll tackle another crucial aspect of project management, which is risk assessment and mitigation. So if you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more practical project management tips. Make sure you share it with anyone that you think would benefit from it as well. Make sure you check the description for a link to my website where I have additional resources available for you for free. And drop in the comments, have you used the critical path method on your projects and did it make a difference? Hey, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.